radical. Viewer discretion is advised. I want to give my thoughts on Fat Man, which is uh, kind of like a satire on Santa Claus and the elves and all that kind of stuff. Okay, this one's kind of out there. This movie is kind of out there. First of all, it is a kind of like a dark comedy slash satire of Santa Claus. I'd say it leans more to dark comedy, okay? It's very dark because Santa Claus is not jolly. This is kind of like the opposite of what you would feel Santa Claus is, but it kind of works. Uh, he drives a red old beat up truck. Santa Claus, at times during the movie, played by Mel Gibson, is happy and seems Santa-ish, but it's very rare. Most of the time, he's doing target practice. He's, you know, uh, punching a punching bag. You know, it's uh, it's dark. It is. But here's the plot of the uh, movie. And then we'll talk about if it works or not to carry the movie all the way through. The plot is basically there's this evil little boy, this evil little boy who is very angry that he gets a lump of coal for Christmas. And there's reasoning behind the backstory of why the boy might be evil. His uh, dad is not around, so there's a lack of a father figure. He seems to live with his grandmother, who is very well off. And there's a maid that he does not respect or appreciate in the least, you know, evil little boy, evil little boy. And he writes a letter to Santa. Uh, I forget what the letter was about. And he, okay, there was one part early on, and this is a big part of the plot of the movie, where he has four first placed badges, four first placed badges on his uh, jacket, and he, and he wears like a little suit, too, which is kind of funny. The movie actually starts with him at a desk, and he's like, you know, nine years old, but he's like a big shot. The movie wants you to know that this little kid is a big shot, and he takes things to heart like he loses he loses a, a first place to a, a girl, right? And he is shocked about it, and this is a big part of the movie also. So he's mad. The kid is mad. Uh, when it comes to Santa, though, he's angry that Santa sent him this lump of coal. So he puts a hit on Santa. That is right. You heard that correctly. He puts a hit on Santa Claus. That's about the naughtiest fucking thing a little kid could do is put a hit on Santa Claus. So in comes a hitman, uh, a terrifying hitman. This guy, I remember him from Justified. He's a very good actor. I forget his name, but he plays his role, I would say, to perfection. I would say out of all the actors, he plays his role in this movie to perfection. Except one part towards the end where he's wearing like a a white ski jacket, which kind of takes me out of everything because I'm like, OK, you want to portray this guy as a badass, but you put him in a white ski jacket. OK, so uh, not to give a lot of the movie away. Basically, the plot of the movie, if you'd be interested in watching um, fat man is that there's a hit on Santa Claus. This guy's trying to hunt down Santa. And the other theme in the movie is Santa is trying to hold things together financially. Uh, the military actually comes in and gives Santa an offer to actually have his elves work on something. I forget what it was for the military. Maybe some panels. I'm not sure. Panels for something. Uh, one hilarious thing is the elves and how they're portrayed. And there's one scene to where they're around a table and it's shown that they're eating nothing but sugary sweets. And then a military man looks at the elf and like, well, you know, you need your your square meals a day. You need your protein. You know, that might help you a whole lot. And the elves are like, no, that doesn't make any sense. You know, uh, we sleep. We take a nap, a 20 minute nap every eight hours. And then the military guy's like, well, how long can you keep that up? And the elves are like, indefinitely. So it's really funny when you think about like how how big of a workers the elves have to be to actually meet those uh, meet those deadlines and deliver all the toys. And also one last thing is you might wonder, is there a personal involvement between the hitman and Santa? Yes. Apparently the hitman, when he was a kid, he had a really bad childhood. He shows his arm. Well, I don't want to give away a lot of movie, but he has a very bad childhood. His parents are not around. 
And he has this fascination with collecting toys that Santa gives to other kids. In fact, he pays a lot of money for this. So clearly he has issues because uh, he just can't get by this, past this. And you could actually argue maybe this some of this shaped him as a person along with the bad, uh, bad childhood is the fact that Santa Claus didn't give him toys. So, yeah, well, what do I think about this movie ultimately? Is it worth a watch? I think it is. I think the pacing was not that great. You know, um, the movie seemed to be a little bit too long for what it was. Uh, the plot doesn't really hold up a lot of the movie to repeated viewings. It's kind of basic. But as far as the performances, you know, the hitman, very good performance. Uh, there's some scenes that are really, really, you know, that he has with normal people that are kind of chilling. Uh, Mel Gibson is his performance. Well, uh, yeah, you know, I think Mel Gibson, he's always pretty entertaining to watch in the movies, in the movies he's in. I think he nails this role. Uh, and this is a trigger alert to a lot of people is Miss Claus is black. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. You know, that might, that might trigger a whole lot of people. Uh, Miss Claus's performance is pretty good, you know, opposite to Mel Gibson being grumpy. She's very uh, positive and everything like that. So I think that works pretty well. Uh, ultimately, it's kind of a forgettable movie. But, you know, while you're watching it, there's elements that are really kind of uh, uh, entertaining. Right. So, yeah, if I was going to recommend this, it would be a meh recommendation. It's not amazing. But you know what? Uh I think you'll enjoy your hour and a half, for the most part, watching Fat Man.